I came to the United States when I was 12 years old. The first time I walked into a school here, uh, it was really impactful to see that everything was indoors and there was like AC everywhere. So, I mean, it was great for me. I came from a school in Mexico where there was really no AC. It was hot in the summer, cold in the winter. Bathrooms were outside. Everything was outside. No, it was all dirt. So I saw grass when I came here and I was like, wow, it's green here. I, uh, I really like music, really enjoy um, making music, writing music, reading music, listening to music, whatever it involves. Music has helped me get through a lot of things, which is why I wanted to start playing. But I remember when I first heard like the first rock record I ever listened to, right? And it was eye-opening how there's this whole library of different music that I hadn't experienced, and some of it I could relate to. It's like a soundtrack to whatever day I'm going through. My parents have been a big influence on me, whether it be on what I want to do and what I don't want to do, uh, just because of how they are. Throughout my life, we haven't been an economically stable family, so that taught me how to uh, do the best with what I have. I was told that if I wanted to get something, I had to get it on my own, because you know we have to care for the family first. And they give me that kind of like tough love, which has shaped me a lot. Being brown, especially around these times, is not dangerous, but it's, it's noticeable. So, you know, a lot of discrimination that I've been through. I've seen my family go through a lot of discrimination as well, um, friends and, and people that I know. So I just wanted to do something, you know, and not just take it, sit down and take it. I just wanted to be out there, do things for my community and for my society. I wanted to be an active part of society. So we started a new organization here called Dreamers in Action, and our goal is to help every undocumented student here at CCA and to show support to them. Here at CCA, I'm involved with our Student Government Association, our club Dreamers in Action, and uh, recently I was the head delegate for the Model UN. We wanted to do a Latin American country, so we decided that um, Mexico would be a good Latin American, Central American country, uh, along with the fact that recently we became a Hispanic Serbian institution. January, we started our weekly training meetings. We met every week, every Friday at 10 a.m. We trained on what they had to do in the uh, national conference, and we spoke a lot about Mexico under policy, and we spoke about a lot about how to do speeches, how to use your voice as a tool for, for, you know, for empowerment for you and, and your committee, and how to really negotiate with people, because it's all about diplomacy. We took around four months to train our delegates. And I mean, I grew alongside with them, and that's what I liked the most, because I could tell how my skills developed, you know, alongside theirs. So while the delegation was in New York, I was able to contact them via Facebook video chat. I was able to speak with everyone in the delegation individually about what to expect in your committees, what to do, how to act, and really how to approach their topics. I think for them, it was kind of like that push to kind of go out there and really do their best. To me, Model UN really exemplifies what it's like when people get together and work towards a common goal and just work with people from different countries, different universities towards a shared goal. You know, it's, it's just incredible to see classrooms filled with students who are working on, on really world or global you know, problems, world global issues, and how we come up with solutions for these things, right? To me, it really means really what it's like to work together, and, you know, and to respect each other's points of view, to respect their cultures, their beliefs, ideologies, things like that, and really forget our differences. This year's team was great, and I really want to thank them for being the team they were, you know. I'm happy, I'm glad to be part of the, the history of Model UN here at CCA, and I'm happy that my team got to leave their mark here at CCA.